Good day again, YouTube. Sketchwitz Gaming here, and in this video, I'm continuing my New Year's resolution for 2023, which is updating my channel and my character's expressions. I do want to give a bit of a heads up. The next few videos I upload might be a massive compilation of all the work I have put behind these, but if you guys enjoy those, feel free to leave a like or subscribe. Regardless, I would like to show you guys how I put the effort into these things and uh, how this gets done, though I'm not sure I'll do a tutorial, but let's get right into the video. I'm, e I'm eager to get this over with. <laughs> uh. So, currently I wanted to show how the animation is looking so far for this current frame or this expression. If I go to frame five, you can see it in its full detail. Krita, as usual, is not letting me on. Um, <laughs> its zooming is limited to 25% uh, increments, I believe. But let's see, let's play that real quick and see how it functions. Okay, so if I take looping off, then we can see how it might look when it's finished. It's been a while since I've actually looked for the looping feature, but oh well. In any case, this is how it looks currently, and I'm planning to, well, update this in this video. I'm primarily going to work on the animation itself, not just drawing the actual thing. So... Yeah, it should be pretty fun. Well, for me, but... Yeah, let's see if I can update this real quick. So I will say that since I'm not used to making videos about this, um, I do not know how long this will last. At the very most, it will probably be about 12 minutes. Probably. But... It all depends on how much work I actually have to do versus how much work I expect to do on this. Okay, let's see. Fortunately, most of the frames that I have to work on are actually already finished, so I should only have to finish two for this to look semi-done and then get into doing the color for it. There we go. Okay. I'm actually kind of hoping that in the future, if anyone ever watches my videos and wants to see like what kind of content I use to upload, they stumble upon this. And if you guys have any questions, well, from the future, I mean, <laughs> as weird as that is to say, you can type them in the comments and I will hopefully respond a few years later from now, um, I make no guarantees. I may move on from YouTube. It depends on, uh, depends on, well, I wouldn't say my, I actually don't know what it depends on because I plan on staying on YouTube currently, but yeah. At any point, if you guys have questions as to how I do this, or even why, um, feel free to ask. Um, let's see. Hmm. Okay, let's get that over with. That's actually pretty hard to do. Man. I 
I do have good news though. My cat is, my cat was well rested, so he is outside. I will not have to um, stop what I'm doing to let him out this time. Um, anyone who's ever owned a cat knows why I'm the one who had to pause the video and why he could, I mean, and why I couldn't just like have him wait at the door. Like, cats scratch things so quickly if you're not paying attention to them. <laughs> That newspaper comic Garfield is actually somewhat accurate when it comes to uh, describing cats and, well, sometimes the way they think. Because apparently it's scientifically proven that cats think this. Cats think that people are literally, and I'm not, I'm not making this up. Apparently they say cats think people are bigger, dumber cats. Not just bigger cats, but dumber cats. Which is about as amusing as it is insulting, but it's par for the course when they uh, refuse to do anything you say, but they have you coming to the door for them at like 12 at night because they're scratching it. It raises a question of who is actually training who at this point. <laughs> I do want to say, though, that I am still getting over a cold, so if I occasionally blow my nose, uh, just a heads up. I'm actually going to do that right now and turn the sound down so you guys don't have to hear it. It is disgusting. Okay, there we go. So, let's see. Um, wow. Making sure the sound is rebalanced, and I think that's good enough. So, let's see. Let's continue right where I left off. Hopefully, the YouTube audio library finally starts adding some new songs to it eventually. I don't really want to start making songs in addition to videos because apparently that's an entirely different skill set. Like, I did video composition in college, well, music composition in college and video composition, but that was, it took six months to make one video with sound. Six months. <laughs> Which isn't necessarily saying that it's hard, so much as it is that it's not necessarily easy either. Huh. Let's see. Maybe one of these days I'll actually play one of the songs that I made in college um, for one of those assignments. Maybe, if I ever get desperate. <laughs> Because looking back, it wasn't really made too well. It was made well, but not too well. It's not something I'd be proud of in a few years. Hmm, maybe I'll make that some uh, thousand subscribers special if I ever get that far. Anyway, this animation is actually coming along pretty nicely and smoothly compared to the other times I have well, that I have started animating this. Now that I'm thinking about it, maybe I should actually look at, like, what other furry content creators are doing on YouTube. Because for the most part, I've actually been, like... It's odd to say it, but I'm anti-social, anti like, even in the fandom, so... Like, I actually have almost no idea what controversy or special events are going on right now. But 
Um, if I do ever subscribe to them and like look at their content, I don't plan, well, I plan on keeping it toned down because it's YouTube and whatnot. <laughs> I wouldn't want anyone to um, get the Deviant Art experience on YouTube, especially since Deviant Art is turning into a dumpster fire that even furries are avoiding right now. But let's see. That looks like it's everything. Did I get the tail? Yes. In any case, um, where I'm going with this is that I'm saying I think I'm going to try staying a solo YouTuber for a while, at least within the fandom. Um, if the opportunity ever arises, maybe I'll try um, doing a few videos with someone else, but I don't plan on making a career out of it. Um, Okay, the render rate and the frame rate are apparently choppy right now. Let's let it smooth out some. <laughs> wow, I might need to add some actual, I might need to add some action lines or something to that just to make it smoother. Huh. Oh well, that should be doable. The real concern here is how the only thing moving is his neck and his head right here. So I'm going to have to see if I can update that. Just one frame should do for now. So both the arms are moving up, so I should have the first frame with them being lower. Can't transform into layer. Yeah, I get it. Okay. Okay, let's see. Let's get this over here. This is always a hassle if done improperly. Okay, there we go. Okay, so if I'm doing this properly, then... Okay. Yeah, this is going about as much... This is going as well as I want it to so far. issue currently is making sure that this stays in place so that I uh, don't have choppy frames later and wind up asking why is that why is that bug there okay so that's one hand and this is the other is going to be a little hard. Hmm. Well, so far it seems pretty easy actually, but let's see. Okay, that's one frame. Let's see how that looks animated. Okay, you need to add some shaking to that. Uh. 
I always hate when I mess up the pencil's perfectly straight computer-generated line. Okay, let's get this right where I need it. to fix that ear. So, it's almost fixed, just not right here. There we go. Okay. I might nickname this the Table Flip Emelt. Once it's done, of course. I think that this is a good stopping point currently. Um, let's see. So, once I get this part finished, I am likely ending the video in about <laughs> seven seconds. So anyway, I thank you guys for watching uh, this session. And if you enjoyed, feel free to like and subscribe. But I will see you in the next video.